Hey everybody, it's Josh here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a Divi mobile menu collapse effect. So what we're gonna create is the effect here to where the menu items that have sub menus under them, we want these to collapse on mobile. This is really handy because it's not only a cool way to spice up your mobile menu on Divi, but it's very important if you have a lot of pages under any of your menu items. Because on mobile, if you don't collapse these, your mobile menu is gonna be massive and people are gonna to have to scroll down to get to certain pages. So once we put this effect in place, here's the look what we're gonna come up with. Let's take a look at this on mobile real quick. And you can see here, if I click the menu, these mobile items that have uh, menu items under them now have a little plus sign there that's basically saying, hey, click here and you'll see all the menu items under here. And we're gonna add a couple other effects too to where you see these little X's, that way people know to click on these and it will zoom them back up. Again, this is really handy, not just to spice up your menu, but it's very important when you have a ton of menu items. Just as a quick example, before we dive in, here's one of my client sites to where they have a ton of menu items under their menu. So you can imagine if we did not use this effect on mobile, their mobile menu would be huge. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. And actually, before we do, I do wanna mention something that I have never done on a tutorial up to this point, but that is to subscribe. If you like this video and it helps you out, please remember to subscribe and you'll get notified when the next tutorial drops. All right, without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so when you set up your menus, by default, when you have sub menu items, it's gonna look fine on desktop, but again, as you look on mobile, let's use inspect element and click on mobile, you're gonna see that they're gonna look like this. Now this isn't a big deal if you have a menu with only a handful of items, but even a menu with this size, it would be nice to collapse them. And that's of course why this effect is so important. So by default, you're gonna see this. And what we're gonna to do to create this effect is we're gonna use two things. We're gonna use a little bit of CSS, and we're gonna use a little bit of jQuery. The reason we need the two is that in short, the CSS is gonna style the little icon that is going to pop open and close the mobile menu. And then the jQuery is gonna give it the actual function. It's gonna give it the, the actual function to open and close that mobile menu. So if you're terrified of, J, of jQuery and CSS, don't worry. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know. I've got the code right here ready for you. I'm gonna walk you through this and it's gonna be provided in the post. I do think it's so, so important to know CSS in particular. Uh, jQuery is something that will help you take your chops to the next level, but I recommend that you know CSS first. So if you don't know CSS, but you want to, just wanna make sure you know I do have a Divi CSS course. Check out the promo code below. You can access that for a discount and I'll walk you through in detail how to learn CSS so you can customize Divi sites. So just as an FYI, those are the two things we're gonna be using to make this happen. Now, what I'm gonna do is walk you through this code, and before I do so, I do gotta, I've do i gotta give credit to the original author of this, because uh, this is actually taken from this page, which I'll post in the post below, uh, MZ Creative Studio. There was a variety of solutions for this trick. I've used multiple over the years, but this is by far my favorite. I still get asked all the time how to do this, so I figured, heck, I'll make a tutorial about it. So I will, uh, link to this because this is where the original code pulls from. The Elegant Themes blog has a couple uh, posts as well that are worthwhile looking into, but this is my favorite solution and this is what we're gonna use. So first things first, we need to create that icon. So let's go ahead and look through this code here. I've got the CSS all ready for us. And basically, let me walk you through each thing here before we put this in. First things first, this first little section of code is going to hide the submenu items on mobile. So we actually needed to adjust that with CSS before we add the function. The next little section here, and I do have this commented out for you, the next section is going to actually adjust the parent menu. We need to give the uh, parent menu a position so that icon can sit next to it and there's no color overriding it. And then the next section of code here is the icon itself. So this is the position of the icon and some adjustments to it. And then finally, one thing that you saw in the intro was that you could have a plus sign and a little X, and that's what this code down here is. This is going to allow us to add content for the little plus sign and then the X as well, which is taken right here from the Elegant Theme font list. So we can actually pull any icon that we wanted to in that mobile menu. So with that said, let's go ahead and copy this entire section of code. And we need to go in here and we're gonna put this, ideally you'd put this in your child theme style sheet 
But for right now, since we're doing this quickly, we're just gonna go to our additional CSS and we're gonna drop it right in here. You can actually see that I had started uh, messing with this earlier, so let's take that out. Let's give us some room so this doesn't look too scary. And you can just drop all the CSS provided in your custom CSS section. Again, CSS section. Again, ideally in your child theme style sheet. So we've got our CSS in, but we're not done. Part two is to add in the actual function. So if we take a look at that, we're gonna take a look at the actual function itself, which is a JavaScript type coding of, J of jQuery. We're gonna take this entire script, and this is not gonna go in your CSS section. This is gonna go in your theme options section. So the way you get to this is you're gonna go to Divi, theme options, and then integration, and then here is a section where you can add jQuery and other scripts to your site. Now, this could go in the head, but we're actually gonna throw this in the body. So I've pasted that entire series of code for the actual JavaScript, which I am no jQuery expert by any means, but essentially this is giving that the function. That This is giving that the actual ability to hide. So let's go ahead and save changes there. And now with those two things in place, let's clear our cache. I'm gonna do a hard refresh on the browser. And now, when we look on mobile, we should see this beautiful little collapse effect. Just had to refresh there. And now if we look at the mobile menu, there it is. There's our little collapse effect. We see the arrows. It's gonna show the user to click those and then all the submenu items will be there. And then the user will be able to click the actual X itself. Now, here's where the benefit of knowing CSS comes into play because we can adjust these. Let's say your client's like, hey, I really like that X on mobile, but we'd like it to be green and we want it to be a little bigger. What you could do is we're gonna use inspect element and we're gonna find that element. And this is just kind of a, a quick show you how you can use CSS. And we're gonna see that this is a before element. And right here, there's the code that we just copied in there previously. So if I wanted to make this that green, we could do that. We could adjust the font size to make it a little bigger. And there we go. Now it's, you know, it's got a whole complete other different vibe with just a little bit with a little bit of color there. Now, as I mentioned previously too, these icons are taken from the Elegant Themes icon list, which is available to us. It's super, super handy. So if you wanted to, for some reason, change the icon, you could do that. Let's say you want that X to be, um, maybe this one here that's a circle. You can see that this is number 51. So let's go back into the code and we'll actually have to adjust this in the code on the theme customizer. So hang with me for a sec. Let's change this from, what was it originally? It was 4D, if we look down here. the um, When it was open, it was 4D. If we go into the code and if we change that to 51, let's make sure that was correct. So it's 40, 51, yep. Let's go ahead and save this and see what happens now when we look on mobile we should see that X with the circle around it instead of the previous one that we had. So it's, again, it's just a, it's a handy way to be able to change those icons if you wanted to. And there we go, there's a circled X. Now I, the changes I made with CSS here and inspect element, I did not save. So any changes you make there, you just wanna make sure again, you put in your custom CSS session or your style sheet. All right, guys, well, that's it for this one. Again, I know it can be a little scary if you're somewhat new to CSS and jQuery, but the code is available for you on the posts. Again, if you want to learn CSS, check out my CSS course where I'll teach you how to build awesome custom sites with Divi and advanced CSS like this. Hope this tutorial helps and I will see you guys on the next one.